learn about the Age of Discovery. The beginning of the Age of Discovery dates back to the 15th century. Its center was Europe. In those days, commerce in the Mediterranean world, called Trade with the Orient, continued to thrive by means of the trading activities of Italian and Muslim merchants. Northern Italian cities like Venice and Genoa were at the heart of this trade. The Italian merchants exchanged silver to get spices and other goods procured from Asia. However, when the Islamic nations of the Ottoman Empire began to expand, the free trade that had been possible up to that time became difficult. Also, European interest in Asia had increased. In the 13th century, there were repeated Mongol cavalry invasions. In addition, the publication of The Travels of Marco Polo stirred people's interest in Asia. Since it was believed that spices and immense quantities of gold lay waiting in the expanses of Asia, European merchants considered a direct route to Asia to be essential. Zeal for the propagation of Christianity was also on the rise, and missions were encouraged. Enthusiasm to proselytize the Christian faith continued to spread outward. The first trailblazer was Portugal. Portugal's Prince Henry the Navigator advanced to the western coast of Africa in the latter half of the 15th century. With the later voyages of Bartolomeu Diaz and Vasco da Gama that followed, a route to India was discovered through exploration eastward. Yet Henry himself did not participate in any voyages. He devoted his energy to providing the financial assistance necessary for the voyages and to the development of navigational technology. Not wanting to fall behind was Portugal's rival, Spain. Spain did the opposite of Portugal and headed for Asia by exploring to the west. In the process of aiming towards this goal, the New World was discovered by Columbus. The art of sea navigation was developed on voyages like these, which utilized compasses, nautical charts, and other tools, and the progress of the Age of Discovery picked up even more speed. Many countries in Europe set out for Asia or the New World. At the dawn of the 16th century, a fleet led by Magellan succeeded in humankind's first circumnavigation of the globe. So what kind of effect did these activities have on the world? First, there was a change in Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe specialized in the grain industry in order to supply food to Western European society, which had grown in importance during the Age of Discovery. Because of this, there was an increase in agricultural slave laborers called serfs. Next, the New World. Spain, which had made inroads into the New World, adopted the encomienda system to secure a workforce and imposed slave labor on the local indigenous people. <sighs> in this way, the world proceeded towards a division of labor in which each region played its respective role. Perhaps the unification of the world brought about by the Age of Discovery can be said to have been the beginning of the modern, complex system in which we now live. Thank you very much.